In our social life, we have opinions about everything, where everyone offers his own perspective from the social world. So let's talk about paradigms. A paradigm is a set of assumptions, theories, or beliefs that serves as the foundation of concepts like identity or institutions. One of these paradigms is positivism, which has single reality. This paradigm is set out to identify patterns and the causal effect of culture on communicative behaviors and practices. They treat cultural values, cultural norms, and communicative behaviors as variables and seek to make generalization based on a set of measurements. Its main assumptions are Culture is relatively stable and fixed and therefore can be isolated for research purpose. Cultural norms exist and can be identified through measurement. Cultural values determine communication behaviors and misunderstanding in cultural communication can be accounted for in terms of difference in cultural values. And here is an example about a study of intercultural communication follows the positivist paradigm and sets out to measure and compare different cultural norms on emotion display rules. On the other hand, the opposite paradigm is constructivism. Constructivist paradigm pays attention to the subjective nature of meaning-making and argues that intercultural differences and cultural membership are socially constructed. The main assumptions are culture and intercultural differences are socially constructed, understanding of culture and intercultural differences is subjective and emerges through discourse and interaction, the focus is on the process of interaction and what the participants achieve out of the experience in terms of new values, identities and practices. An example of the constructivism paradigm in action where in the following conversation a participant resists others' ascription of a cultural identity. Finally, let's go to the last paradigm, which is a critical realism that is in between the two extremes mentioned before, generalization and particularism, and the solution for the problem of relativism and absolutism. The critical paradigm addresses issue of micro-context, historical, social, and political levels, power, and the hidden destabilizing aspect of culture, influenced by cultural and critical communication. Studies following this paradigm position culture as a part of macro-social practice contributing to and at the same time influenced by power and ideological struggle. The main assumptions are culture is an ideological and power struggle. Understanding the researching culture differences cannot be achieved without paying attention to macro-contexts in which differences are ascribed or closed over. And communication is a process of the creation, constitution, and intertwining of situated meanings, social practices, structures, discourses, and the non-discursive. Notice that the critical research method focuses on evaluating the data and suggesting appropriate changes to address a problem. For example, the critical research method asks why do minorities experience more poverty and what can we do to fix this issue? So now you're asking yourself which of these paradigms is the better one? The question in fact misses the point. It's not the question of whether one is better than the other. The question should be which paradigm is more suitable for some types of research questions than others.